So I went shopping at Walgreens. Picked up some new makeup that is new to the market and some new makeup to me and some old goodies that I really wanted to try out again. I have a whole bag. Let's start first with a face primer. This is new to me and it's slightly newer to the makeup world. This is by NYX. This is their Plump Right Back Plumping Serum and Primer, $17. It's quite expensive, but then NYX again, they have some expensive stuff. It's supposed to plump your face. It's dripping in vitamins and electrolytes. And this formula will ensure you're moisturized all day long. It's supposed to be very lightweight and finished. It's supposed to absorb quickly and allows for an even makeup application. Again, we're gonna do only half of the face. I like the pump. I like the yellow packaging. Ooh, it feels really nice. Whoa, it actually kind of mattified my skin. It has a little bit of a tackiness now that it's starting to set. Let's move on to foundation because this is a product I'm very excited about. This is the new line from Maybelline, their Green Edition line. And this is their tinted oil. I picked up two shades. Each shade retails for $11.99. Again, I think it depends on the retailer, but I picked up shade 10 and 30. These are the two lightest shades available, but they only have, what, two, four, six, eight shades available and supposed to be, I guess, adjust to your skin tone, depending which shade you go with. For sheer coverage, one drop. Light coverage, three drops. And then medium coverage, five drops. We're gonna go with one drop. That's one drop. That seems very, very little. We're gonna go on this side. And use my fingers. So a tinted oil, wow, that's literally no coverage. We're gonna go with a couple of drops. Two, three. It kind of feels like the Kosas oil. It's not like a serum feeling. It more so feels kind of like an oil with pigment in it. It has a little bit of like a soft powdery texture. Wow, it's actually not that glowy. Like it has a, like a very soft, silky, velvety texture. It has no tackiness whatsoever. So that's really good. It doesn't have a typical, like a face oil feel. Sometimes it can have this slick feeling, but this actually feels really, really nice. Wow. If I'm gonna compare this to the L'Oreal, the foundation slash skin tint that I love, that one definitely has a lot more coverage and I think it looks better on the skin as well. But this is interesting because this is a lot, this is a lot more budget friendly. Okay, so I applied some drops and it's not super watery as you can see. The L'Oreal one is definitely a lot more liquid. Let's go with the Honest Beauty. <coughs> Just saw my life flash before my eyes. Foundation brush. I'm just gonna start just dotting and stamping this onto my skin. The number 10, the lightest shade, you can see it's definitely a lot warmer. It's pulling warmer. In the bottle, it looks very cool toned. Wow, look at this. With the brush, definitely so much more coverage. But is it gonna look good up close when it's blended in? Let's see. Okay, it's not bad up close. Maybe it's the primer? Mmm, mmm. Whoa, it looks like I, I have scaly skin. What is that? Is that the primer or is that the brush? Because on this side, it looks really good. The only way to find out is apply more on this side and blend it out with the brush. Because that looks really weird. Ooh, ew, no, that does not feel good. It's literally just slipping and sliding everywhere. Okay, let me actually just use my fingers to blend this in. These types of products, they don't layer well. That's what I know from experience. You just have to do the initial layer and that's it. And expect a nice sheer to light coverage. Trying to get a medium coverage just does not look good and it just starts slipping and sliding. I mean, you can get a really good coverage with the brush, but it doesn't set. Okay, so definitely, I don't think personally it's meant to be applied with the brush. I think because it has those oils, the warmth of your fingertips really kind of helps melt everything together. And then really patting it onto your, like on top of your skin. The finish is actually really, really pretty. I like it. I will say I'm really hoping it sets because as of right now, it does have that really nice texture on the skin and it feels lightweight, but I think it's just not going to last long. Let's move on to brows. I've seen these all over TikTok and people are saying they give you the most natural, beautiful brows. These right here are by NYX and it's their Thicket Stick It Brow Mascara and it's tinted. I picked up shade Taupe and then Cool Ash Brown, $11. So this is supposed to 
thicken, tame, and tint your eyebrows for 16 hours. This kind of reminds me of the Benefit Gimme Brow in a way, because it has the fibers in there, it's tinted, it's supposed to tame your brows. I'm just running this through to get that color. I think the color looks pretty good. And then we're gonna bring this down, run it through like this. Really work it into the brows, I guess. Wait, why don't you ever do your eyebrows down instead of up? Is that a good look? <laughs> okay, actually, look at that. If you want that natural brow, that's a little bit, you know, not as tamed. Wait, I think that actually looks pretty decent for what we just did. Interesting. We'll see how they wear. I'll be honest, I really like this eyebrow mascara for the first time. I like that it's actually really buildable, but it's also very lightweight at the same time. You can fix it. It doesn't dry down crusty, dry down super and like really harsh. I can still go back with another spoolie and really just kind of carve my eyebrows if I have to. But I'm impressed that this is just brow gel without any other filling products, brow pencil, brow pen, pretty impressed and they look pretty natural. I will say you probably might have to play with some colors and choose the best one. I like the cool ash brown for my brow hairs. I like this. Okay, so this is an oldie, but I haven't used this in years. This is by Revlon. This is their Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in 745 Cherry Blossom. One of my favorite shades was Praline. And I mean, I'm gonna use their their brush. This is feeling very spring. I like these cream eyeshadows. They're not super intense, but they get the job done. So for eyeliner, we have a new one by Maybelline. This is their Hyper Easy Brush Tip Eyeliner, and I got pitch black. $9.99. It's supposed to not skip, slip, gap, or struggle. And it's supposed to last up to 24 hours and it's not supposed to smudge. So far, it's really, really nice. Extremely easy to work with. Like that it's very small and petite. It feels very nice when you draw it because you have a lot of control. The brush itself is pretty precise, but it's also bendy and fluid enough where you can create really sharp and precise lines. I like that it's really black. It's not very wet, so that's really good. And it looks like it's drying down matte. Let's move on to mascara. I curled my eyelashes. This is the new Maybelline Green Edition Mega Mousse Mascara. All right, so what are you? It's a high performing mascara that is not supposed to be heavy and it's supposed to wear all day long. It's supposed to give big, buildable volume lashes and that goes on as light as mousse. Okay, okay. It has shea butter to provide smooth build buildability and lightweight volume. Interesting, okay. It's actually a very big wand. It's a boar bristle type of mascara, but the bristles are not super tightly packed, but there's a lot of them. It's slightly of a wet formula, but it is a brand new tube. I mean, it's pretty black, but I think because the formula is a little more slippy, it's not providing that oomph, that big volume that they claim. We'll see how it builds up but it looks like it's kind of weighing my lashes down already. I like that it's very black, so it is giving you more natural fluttery lashes, but it's not giving that volume, which is unfortunate. Kind of wanted that volume. Okay, so for concealer, this is not new to the market, but it's newer to me. This is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Concealer. And I have two shades, fair and light. It's supposed to conceal age spots and pigmentation. It's supposed to blur appearance of lines and wrinkles. Cover imperfections and blemishes, suitable for sensitive skin, and it's supposed to be a full day coverage. It's supposed to be buildable and up to full. So, very intriguing. It looks pretty neutral toned. I'm gonna take a little bit more. We're gonna use a brush, because this is not feeling or looking very full coverage with the finger. I mean, it blends out really nice. No issues with this blendability, but it's not very full coverage. How much am I supposed to apply to get a full coverage? I think because it's such a lightweight formula, when you layer it, it doesn't look heavy or cakey, but I will say this is a light to a medium coverage concealer. I don't know where 
they got the full from. I mean, it looks really pretty, even with the amount that are layered. Okay, this concealer is actually really, really pretty. It's more natural, like I said, and it definitely has those illuminating properties. It's very brightening. It looks really nice on the skin. It has that feeling and texture where it's not going to set itself. It's not a self-setting concealer. So I think I'm definitely gonna use powder. And I picked up this one by L'Oreal. This is their Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. We're gonna put it in the cup. It's like a typical white translucent powder. Let me just make sure this is blended out before we set it. I'm gonna use my little puff that Andre was so blown away when I used it. I'm really curious how this is going to react with the oil. Is it going to break it apart as the day goes on or is it actually gonna look really pretty? Cause I definitely have to set that oil. Wow, that's very blurring. That's a very blurring powder but does it look lightweight? Hmm, it's actually pretty good. It didn't do anything weird to the concealer because sometimes with a very serum-like concealer that doesn't have as much coverage, it starts to make it look crepey. But this one actually looks really nice together. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the dampened sponge to kind of melt everything together. For bronzer, I picked up this little palette by Physicians Formula and these are their Butter Bronzer Palette, limited edition, $11.99. So I'm gonna go with this one first and kind of build up my bronzer contour. It's very powdery. This is very intense and fragrant. It smells like coconuts. I think it's good for an all over bronzer. It's not as contouring, it's more adding warmth to the face, a little bit of dimension. Let's move on to blush, and it's also by Physicians Formula, and this is their new Butter Believe It blush in shade Pink Sands. That looks really pretty. Cute packaging. Does it also smell? Yep. Ooh, it does look a little powdery. It's like no color. I think this is way too powdery. Wow, I'm really going in here. So I don't like the butter bronzer blush. The texture and formula is way too powdery and it looks, on top of the powder, it looks extra powdery and just, it just sits on top of the peach fuzz and doesn't really look melted and just luscious on the cheeks. So I went with Pixie Beauty, their Hydrating Solid Cheek Tint in shade Floor. This is what I'm using and I think it looks so pretty on top. This is kind of the color I really wanted with the eyes. It's pink, but still has a little bit of warmth to it. And it looks one with my cheeks. It has that really nice kind of dew, glowy. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. I'm gonna run some, I think I'm gonna run this shadow in the crease. I feel like the crease is missing something. And I'm gonna use the color Girl, their True Naked Nudes palette in All Day Wear. We're gonna do a little inner corner highlight with the lightest shade in the palette using the sponge applicator that I came with. I will say this is not my favorite palette just because the formula, it's not as creamy and as pigmented as I would like. I'm gonna apply mascara to the lower lash line even though it's flaking on me. <laughs> I don't think I even mentioned that, but I really wanna see if it's going to transfer on my lower lash line. For the lip, we have this one by Maybelline. It's their green edition line, and this is their Balmy Lip Blush. I picked up shade number seven, Moonlight. $9.99. This is supposed to be a lipstick that's so melty, your lips will blush. <laughs> well, that's cute. That's corny, but cute. This juicy lip color delivers lasting hydration and blushed looking lips. Formulated with mango oil. Interesting, let's swatch you. I do like the packaging. Oh, it's actually a lot more pink than I anticipated. Is that too pink? Ah, huh. that's actually a really nice formula. Straight up Starburst. It's a little too warm toned. Thinking, I kind of want to take this lip liner for some reason. This one is by Maybelline, and this is their Shaping Lip Liner in 104. I should have bought a setting, setting spray because I'm feeling a little powdery but this lip color and this lip combo, I never would put these two together, the colors especially, because this is a little more like mauve gray tone and this is more corally pink, but put together, they're actually really pretty. 
more muted down. And I think with this look, it really kind of tied everything together from the blush to the eyes to the lips. I am actually really liking the overall look. I will say now that this has been on my face for a little bit, this tinted oil, I am not enjoying it. I am not enjoying the texture, the feeling of it. It feels dry, it feels powdery, but also feels a little kind of slick and it doesn't look good, especially right here, because this just doesn't sit well on the skin. It's definitely a product that's meant to be more sheer in coverage, not layering so much product on the skin. I think it will work really good and it will look good for those people that really want that light coverage, that light something, like a light wash of tint on your skin. But I definitely prefer the L'Oreal to this product. The L'Oreal looks a lot more natural, a lot more glowy and more luminous on the skin, but I'm definitely gonna keep playing with it. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys here and we're gonna keep updation, updations. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the day. What are updations? That's a new word. That's a new word. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, first update. I kind of want to talk about the feeling of my skin. It feels really, it feels kind of tight. Like this pulling sensation right here where I make most movements around my mouth. So this tinted oil, it just, the way it settles on your skin, it kind of just goes all into your fine lines, but it keeps it tight. It's a weird sensation, but it just feels heavy, but it's it's just not comfortable. It feels very oily, but also very dry. Kids are napping. I just ran some errands, but yeah, I'm not liking the way the tint is feeling on my skin. Lips still look really nice. Eyes look pretty good, except for something's feeling very sensitive. I don't know if it's the concealer or the mascara or the eyeliner, so who knows? Um, blush is still looking pretty good. I like the blush. Mascara, it's not transferring, but it is flaking quite a bit. But the blush is still looking really nice. Brows still look really good. I am looking a little bit oily on the forehead, but not in the mirror. I think it's just the light or something. It looks kind of oily. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to dinner tonight, celebrating Macy's birthday, and I'm, I took the lip color with me to see to reapply. We'll see if I eat anything before dinner. We're going to a really good restaurant. We haven't tried it, it has really good reviews. So I'm kind of wanting to go hungry to the restaurant <laughs> to enjoy as much of the food as I possibly can. But I'll see you guys, if not before that, but definitely at the very end of the night. Okay, so I'm going to dinner to celebrate Macy. And I wanted to mention one thing about the face. It doesn't feel as tight and dry anymore. I was vacuuming and I was sweating a little heavy <laughs> and I feel like my sweat kind of helped melt the makeup even more but it doesn't feel tacky, it doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel gross afterwards so I guess that's a good thing. I just wanted to give that a quick little update before I head to dinner. I reapplied a little bit of the lipstick but the lip liner and the lipstick is actually still on and it looks really good. I just kind of freshened it up. All right. I'll see you guys later tonight. Last and final update. We're back home from dinner. It was so awesome, but my makeup is a hot mess. What I anticipated came true. So this tinted oil, it's not long lasting. Let me show you what the L'Oreal thing I was talking about. I always forget the name of it. It is the Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This right here is the tinted serum that it reminded me of. This right here, in my opinion, is so much better. Yes, it's a little bit pricier, but it has better coverage. It wears so much better. It wears longer and it's beautiful on the skin. That Maybelline tinted oil, not a fan. It broke apart my skin really, really bad. I mean, like my skin looks horrendous. The NYX primer didn't help. I don't see a difference on either side. So not impressed with the primer for this tinted oil. Moving on to concealer. It's actually not bad. If anything, I think it's the powder that makes it look a little bit dry. But my under eyes, they don't look horrendous. I don't think. I actually like the concealer quite a bit. Moving on to eyebrows. Brows are still there, but, but they're not looking as uniform 
as they were when I first applied it. And that might be due to the tinted oil underneath. <laughs> so the tinted oil might be moving them around. But I do like that there's still color. It definitely looks uneven like you see in some parts and then some other parts like it has completely wiped off. Moving on to eyeliner. Very impressed with the eyeliner. It hasn't moved on me. It hasn't smudged. It hasn't broken apart. I mean, it's still so black. It's still so sharp and intense. I am so excited about this eyeliner. So excited. Um, blush, the bronzer. I've played with the bronzer formula. Um, I feel like it's kind of gone. I don't really see it on my skin anymore. I still see the blush. The blush looks pretty good. The powder, it's a little bit drying and it looks powdery. It's it's okay. It's not nothing that I'm so excited about. I think there's better powders at the drugstore. In particular, I really like the Maybelline Fit Me powder or the loose setting powder. I think it's a little bit better in terms of longevity and the way it sits and looks on your skin at the end of the night. And then lips, I have to say one thing. I really like those lip blushes by Maybelline. That's the only thing I like from that line. Mascara, I already told you guys I don't like it because the formulation does not work. And look at how flaky it is. I'm going to leave it here. I'm so excited about a lot of these launches. I'm gonna keep playing with them, especially the eyeliner. <laughs> I'm excited about the concealer. I'm excited about the lip product. There's actually a, a pretty good amount of stuff I'm really excited about, and I think you should definitely check it out as well. Thank you so much for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you next one very soon. Bye.